Tim, yes. you just got back from okay. Europe. I have, yes. Tell us about your trip. Oh, well, you know, I had to go and see a machine supplier and that was very exciting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've, got, I've heard a rumor that you're busy building uh, a I'm little small overland A little vehicle. one. I may have then diverted to go to a, a company called Helgeth Engineering who are assisting with the build. I've bought an Oberegner 6x6 Sprinter chassis, uh, which was built in Rostock. Uh, Krug XP uh, have made the cabin for it. Uh, that's been built for me in Ukraine. Yeah. Uh, it's about 4.7 meters by 2.2 by 2.3. You're going to have to send me a picture so I can link this in oh, between. Absolutely. Because I think Don't. what you're saying right now, people are just going to say, what? Uh, what? what? They yeah, heard 6x6, six they heard Sprinter, yeah. they heard cabin. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. not a little Volkswagen Beetle that mm. you're going to travel the world with. And, and no, no, it's a little bigger than that, but I am going to travel the world in it. So uh, it's, uh, you know, double beds, uh, kitchen, bathroom, uh, table set. Um, yeah, and my intention is to start stri by driving around Africa. Yeah. Having driven around Africa, uh, I'll end up in the UK via Morocco and Spain. Yeah. Um, then I'm going to ship it to South America and hopefully drive Argentina to Alaska. Holy, so, holy, yeah. holy. A little bit of a journey. All right, yeah. so tell us, tell us, how did you end up with a sprinter though? Because as long as I've known you here, yeah. it's been well, you've had Land Rovers, yep. you've raced Land yep. Rovers, yep. you ended up doing the Desert Challenge how many times? Uh, five. Five yes. times yeah, the Desert Challenge indeed. in a Land Rover. Yes, yes. And Why not a Land Rover? Now a Mercedes. Yeah, now a Mercedes. Well, uh, as, a, as a hobby, as you know, I also write for a car magazine. Yep. I have owned, I think, six Land Rovers. And whilst I love them to death, and if you cut me open, I'd probably do bleed green. Yeah. Um, I thought about it, and I wanted something bigger than an SUV to drive around the world. Um, you know, I know there's there's a, a market, and as you're doing, you've built yeah. a, a, an SUV, a 4x4, a second uh, a vehicle that will have a maximum weight of 3.5 tons. Yeah. I decided that if I'm going to live in this, for the next four years or five or six or whatever it may be I wanted a bit more space and I looked at overloading let's say an SUV and I decided now I'll go for a truck yeah. uh, so I went off to Bad Kissingen which is just the most amazing uh, Alrad Aventura excuse the pronunciation yeah. uh, exhibition it's mind-blowing it's the place to go if you want to go and see overland trucks and while I was there I met Oberegner saw their chassis it has a seven ton uh, capacity it's a three ton chassis itself so it gives you four tons of cargo when so, do we see it? Uh, should have, it's been delayed a couple of weeks for a couple of things I'm having done to it. So it should be in Dubai January the 7th or thereabouts, yes. 2017. The journey will probably start, uh, I keep saying end of March, but now I've realised that the 1st of April is the perfect date to start a trip like that. So on April Fool's Day 2017, I hope to head off. Well, yeah. I hope to have my 6x6 ready by then and uh, we can you, take both 6x6s well, in there and form it. Absolutely. It's going to be the ultimate that you can take of, of an SUV stretch yeah. it as a yeah. six by six give you the 3.5 tons yeah. as as a loading weight versus going the next level yep yeah it's think, one step I think up. i'm yeah. stretching yeah. mine as far as it can go yeah. and you're yeah. taking a platform and then building on top of absolutely. that absolutely it'll be yeah. quite interesting to see the two and it, packing abilities and and how how it works when out. are you heading out to africa <laughs> Well, maybe uh, I'll join yeah, you. Let's yeah, well, do it. Well, I'm, I'm travelling on my own, so uh, well, I can probably I, I'm do it. I'm going to be cheating a little because yeah. I'm going to be shipping mine, and we're probably going to be doing Botswana in May, June, uh, okay. if we do if we don't do Canning stock. So I it's may, either well, Canning stock uh, or right. or Namibia or Botswana for next Super. year. Super. So. Well, Namibia and Botswana. Well, the whole of Africa's on my journey, so we will meet up at some point. I'm sure of that. Absolutely yeah. sure. Yeah. Thanks. Right, for your well, time. Good luck. See you then. Cheers.